The COVID times have taught us that education can resume even if there is no physical school in between. Now, AI is trying to take it a step further. What we are eyeing is education and learning without teachers. Google is behind all these developments with their new project called Notebook LM. What is it all about and how will it impact education? Will it revolutionize the schooling system that we currently know? Let's find out. But before we begin, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as we strive to bring the latest and greatest from the world of AI. With that said, let's get straight to business. At last year's Google I.O., a range of AI-first experiments in development was unveiled, featuring Project Tailwind, an innovative notebook crafted to enhance the learning process. Later, the commencement of the Project Tailwind rollout under its new name, i.e. Notebook LM. The tool is meant to redefine the concept of note-taking. It revolves around an intelligent algorithm designed from the knowledge of a robust language model, denoting by the LM. The product will be promptly accessible to a select group of users in the US as ongoing refinement efforts aim to enhance its usage spectrum. First things first, let us answer how this model is different from other LLMs. Now, to begin with, this tool is meant to revolutionize education, which is why the key difference between Notebook LM and other AI chatbots like ChatGPT is its ability to take information from sources that users provided. You can upload up to 200,000 words worth of information, and it will immediately be able to interact and hold that into its conscious memory. In education, there is no room for a chatbot to provide wrong or outdated information. While designing this tool, getting the accurate sources was the first main concern for the company. It can judge the accuracy of sources that are used in the information inside of the user's work, and it also allows you to add your own sources on the work, apart from searching out for them itself. There are many instances of ChatGPT hallucinating information that it is creating what it thinks is a sensible answer to a situation, and this can lead users down very dangerous paths and is one of the main limitations around the existing AI language models. So what's great about this is if a user is on the flow of writing and is willing to bring in a quote from a different source, and they're not exactly sure what it was or what was said, they can simply type in a query and ask for any quotes related to certain topics. Another important feature, as dubbed by Google, is source grounding. Source grounding effectively creates a personalized AI that's versed in the information relevant to the user. How is that done? Well, named entity recognition or NER tools like Spacey or Stanford Core NLP identify key data points in the user's source material, like the name of authors, concepts, methods, datasets. Tools like OpenIE or Reverb extract the juicy semantic connections between these entities. These can be like, did paper A cite paper B? Does experiment X use dataset Y? These relationships become the glue holding the user's prompt and source together. All these entities and relationships are established. They get woven into a knowledge graph, a map of the user's source's semantic landscape. This graph allows the LLM at the back end to navigate the context with ease. Google surely is working to reduce hallucinations, but they explicitly mention on their website that the user should actively review the information provided by the LM to avoid fallacies of any kind. Now, let's jump into the exact take of Google on redefined note taking. Notebook LM offers a versatile organizational structure in a notebook format, accommodating a seamless integration of text, code, images, and links. This dynamic workspace facilitates flexible organization and easy referencing, enhancing the efficiency of managing ideas. The platform also allows for the integration of various research materials, such as PDFs, web pages, and videos, streamlining the process by extracting key points and highlighting relevant sections. Education is quite a collaborative task. So keeping that in mind, the tool enables users to share notebooks and collaborate on projects, enhancing joint brainstorming and knowledge sharing. It is important to mention that as of now, collaborative features are still in development, but the potential for enhancing teamwork is promising. The platform finds applications in research and project management, creating writing and brainstorming, personal knowledge management, student learning, and professional note-taking during meetings, conferences, and interviews. Now, if anyone wants to use this tool, he or she she is required to join the waitlist. For that, just go to the Notebook LM website and click on the Join the Waitlist button. Clicking on this button will redirect the user to the sign-up form, where he or she can simply add his or her name and email to the list. Once the wait is over, users can add Notebook LM to Google Docs. Once the integration of Google Docs to Notebook LM is successful, the platform can help them generate a summary along with key topics and suggested questions. Not only that, users can ask questions related to the upload 
documents, allowing for a more thorough explanation. For instance, a medical student can request the creation of a glossary for key terms in a neuroscience article, while an author focusing on a biography might ask for a summary of interactions between Houdini and Conan Doyle from their research notes. Beyond Q&A, Notebook LM proves to be exceptionally valuable for sparking creative ideas. A content creator can upload concepts for new videos and prompt the platform to generate a script, or an entrepreneur seeking funding can upload their pitch and inquire about potential investor questions. All this intelligence arises from the fact that this tool can seamlessly integrate itself with a bigger, wider, larger language. Now, one thing here needs to be clarified. As of its current state, Notebook LM has replaced Lambda with Gemini Pro. But to explain its working, we are going to stick with the Lambda's case, because the exact working mechanism with Gemini Pro is not yet revealed by Google. Lambda formerly acted as the background LLM, which we talked about earlier. It is actually the source of words that show up as an output to the user's query. It uses the knowledge graph as its map, traversing it to understand users' prompts in the context of the source they provide. Lambda's attention mechanism allows it to focus on the different parts of the prompt. It can also append to the source graph, giving it a deeper understanding of the user's intent, which means that if the prompt is tweaked, it understands what it needs to do to compensate for the changed user intent. Lambda, now on the basis of entities and relationships in the knowledge graph, ensures that the outcome is relevant and grounded in the source. All of this converges to the point where we may say that the final words Lambda spits out are carefully chosen. According to Google, it also takes into consideration the source's style, tone, and even potential biases to ensure its responses are consistent and believable. Although the internal working might not be drastically different, there are major improvements for the users to enjoy. The new binding with Gemini Pro allows for Gemini Pro's strengths in document understanding and reasoning. The Gemini Pro specifically aces in dealing with data originating from multiple sources. This update allows Notebook LM to create new formats that can be used to transform users' notes into structured documents. All the user has to do is select a set of notes and ask Notebook LM to create something new. To make the process even easier, the platform will automatically suggest formats such as create a study guide or create an outline. Now, as the title of this video suggests, this tool is about to change education forever. Why does Google think like that? Why do we think like that? And why do many experts think like that? To find the answers, let's jump into some studies that highlight changing learning habits. Recent studies indicate a heavy shift in how people access information. The traditional method of thoroughly reading content is being quickly replaced by quickly scanning and skimming through online material. A University College London study highlights the bouncing behavior of digital readers who jump between sources, reflecting a new approach to gathering and interpreting information. This trend is becoming more evident, giving a green signal for the development of AI tools like Notebook LM, which offer swift and comprehensive answers without the need for extensive research or reading. They promote independent thinking, nurture creativity, and empower us to evaluate the validity and quality of the information we encounter. But there are massive drawbacks to this approach of learning. A University of Michigan study reveals that frequent use of autocorrect and predictive text features leads to a decline in spelling proficiency over time. Trusting AI to fix errors and generate text is weakening our natural ability to write effectively and creatively. So, do we even need such tools? The problem with this question is we. These tools are way more directed towards the creator economy rather than schools. The process of creating content and monetizing it is painstaking and involves a lot of research and fact-finding. Creators, as part of their job, must not only produce engaging content, but also ensure its credibility and authenticity. Notebook LM and related tools can support this process, but still, these tools are not a magic wand. They cannot replace the human touch. The discerning eye of a human creator, along with strong reading and writing skills, can add a layer of depth and nuance that AI can't replicate. To conclude this discussion, this tool is not meant to wipe off schools and classrooms. This tool is also not meant for automatic content creation. It is just there to facilitate the process for both use cases. A student can use this tool for additive learning and supplementing his or her understanding. Similarly, a creator can use this tool for organizing, brainstorming, and generating different ideas. Yes, it is a step forward in remote learning, but it is not yet equipped enough to replace the education system we have established after centuries worth of research and hard work. With that, we conclude today's video. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis because we bring the latest and greatest updates from the world of AI. We have made another video on Rabbit's R1 and how it shocked the entire AI industry. To find out what it is all about, click on the video link
something popping up and we'll see you there. See ya.